everybody and welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to film another declutter video but before I jump into this video as always please make sure you are subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up it would really help me out um, so yeah I am doing another declutter video I think this is the third one within the last two or three months so I'm really like getting rid of things that I just never use and you know maybe find something different and switch things out a little bit so there's nothing wrong with any of these scents they smell really good so if you like them they're great scents so please don't feel offended by me getting rid of them so let's go ahead and start with the first one let me look into my little box it's not a whole lot it's two four six so six yeah so the first one I am trying to sell, you know, saying getting rid of sounds so terrible. It sounds like like something terrible that you want to get rid of, but I'm selling it. It's a great scent, but I never use it. And this one is the original Chloe Eau de Parfum. Um, it is a beautiful scent. It has rose in it. I think it has lychee in it. Um, it's a beautiful scent, but it's also a very cold scent. So whenever I wear it, it kind of affects how I feel. And I don't feel the best whenever I wear it. Like I said, it makes me feel kind of cold and a little bit depressed in a way. I don't, it's really, really weird. But things like that can affect my mood and I'm not here for that. I want to be happy and I don't want to feel depressed. So if you like it it's a pretty scent uh, whenever i wear it i always get compliments people can smell me it is a super super long lasting perfume the only downside uh, with this is that it tarnishes tarnishes is that english word uh really fast i got this at ulta at the beginning of last year so beginning of 2021 and i have uh brushed it with a toothbrush and toothpaste people say this is how you get rid of the tarnishness <laughs> um so i don't know it doesn't look like brand new but the material i guess is just really cheap and my camera always has a hard time on focusing this is the 1.7 fluid ounces as you can see i have barely worn it there's nothing wrong with the perfume it smells really good and my perfumes are never exposed to sunlight so yeah that one is chloe eau de parfum i am trying to sell this one on mercari and as always i will have my mercari listed in the bottom bar if you live in the united states so the next one is going to be from dolce and gabbana and this one is dolce and gabbana the only one um 1.7 1 1.6 fluid ounces 50 ml and the reason why I'm going to sell this is um, I really, really love the new Black Opium uh, Green Illicit. I've never thought I'm going to get a Black Opium back into my collection, but I am. I found a really good deal on uh, the Black Opium Green Illicit on Mercari. It is a bundle with the Black Opium Nuit Blanche or something like that and it's a bottle that i found and the nuit blanche that has been discontinued i've never got to smell it but i've heard it's really really good it's like a milk note in it and rice powder i think um so i bought a bottle and i can't wait for it to get here because i wanted to have the uh the green illicit anyway and with the bottle it's like why not get the whole thing so yeah and this one smells really really similar to the original black opium and i have barely worn it it's it's a really it's a really nice scent but like i said i barely worn it i think the original black opium is a little bit better blended than this one um sometimes i feel like it smells a little bit like expired coffee but then i'm smelling it again right now and i'm like mm, it smells so nice but I'll be having the illicit uh, version and that one is just so creamy, so creamy, love it, can't wait for it to get here. So yes, I will be selling this baby right here. Yep. And the next one is going to be from Dolce & Gabbana, light blue intense. I'm going to sell this one right here. I've had it for, I think, two years now. I bought it uh, summer of 2020 and this is how much I've worn so far. This is one this is 50 ml. And it is a great summer scent, but I've never, I never really reach for it. To be honest with you, I really like, I really like this, but it's also very sharp. And sometimes really sharp perfumes can really irritate my sinus. And 
this one definitely does that in a little like a little bit so yeah i'm going to see if i can sell it on mercari if nobody's gonna buy it then you know nobody's gonna buy it it's not for me it's not like oh my god i have to get rid of it immediately it's out there somebody's gonna buy it they're gonna buy it if it's gone i don't think i'll be missing it um the only thing i think the smell is very nostalgic in a way because it reminds me of the early 2000s and yeah was was when time was still good you know so um yeah i will be selling this one and the next one is going to be from ariana grande this is ari and i have used quite a lot of this I hope the camera is focusing this is how much i have used this is the 50 ml bottle and i actually am going to sell it in a bundle with the uh juicy couture gold couture this is the one ounce bottle this is what the one ounce bottle looks like it's really cheap i prefer like the 50 ml or the 100 bottle uh, yeah the one ounce looks very i don't know very tacky but i will be selling this as a bundle because this is the one ounce and I'm not gonna ship this perfume off for like $15 or something like that. Um, they smell really nice. I think if you like any of this, like if you like this, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this and the other way around. So I think they complement each other really well. Um, really great scents. Very, very girly. Um, but I, I've reached for this one a lot. But... Uh, this one I have worn a couple of times. Will the camera focus? I think so. So I've worn this. My God, my camera does not focus well. Um, I have worn this a couple of times. It's a really, really great scent. It's very, very liked by men, I think. So is this like any Ariana Grande perfumes. But I just don't reach for these kind of scents. I have. I just have pretty much always i always reach for the same ones i feel like and yeah but i don't want to keep stuff that we don't wear because we don't want it to go bad and i have just learned that you know quality over quantity is just important so the next one is from well that's the last one already is from elizabeth arden i never thought i have elizabeth arden perfume this one is nyc premiere fifth avenue and this is a tester bottle this is why it came without the cap and this has been discontinued the reason why will you focus please there we go the reason why i wanted this so bad this was a blind purchase um it's because people said it smells really really close to dior addict and is if you have watched my channel dior addict is my number one perfume like nothing smells as like Dior Addict is just mm, so good um and I have never even worn this I've not worn it and you know it reminds me a little bit of Dior Addict but I would not say it is a dupe at all um it is a nice scent and I think it's it smells very very familiar to me I feel like I have smelled it on uh, other people before and I have sprayed it a little bit like you know to test on my wrist uh, and <clears throat> now I've got it in my mouth and it smells really good but I never reach for it and I think it is a little bit nauseating to me I don't know I've got it on my nose it does smell really nice but I, I never wear it and I'd rather just wear the um, you know the original Dior Addict so this is why I'm going to try to sell this um, I think I put it up on Mercari already for a really affordable deal. So, um, yeah, check it out. And those were all the perfumes that I'm going to sell. And yeah, please, please don't uh, get, you know, offended by me getting rid of these perfumes because they all smell nice. But I just have too many and I want to bring my number down to 50. And I'm, you know, slowly getting there and then I'm then I buy new perfume again, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you had a great day, having a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.